Life was, I guess you could say, unstable. There's certain things that have happened in my life that I didn't want to deal with. I was going through a breakup, I was going through some dark stuff. I used everything and anything to block out trauma. It was definitely something that I was not proud of and wanted to change, I guess, but I didn't know how. And me being as stubborn, my way was my way. And um, I didn't like help. The sadness is, it's not only drugs. The addiction also spirals down. You become addicted to feeling down, depressed, lonely. You don't know how to live anything else. I got to a point where I was pretty much rock bottom. I saw no out. I had no idea where I was going to turn. And I didn't care. And if I ended my life the next day, it wouldn't really matter. Mum was saying to me, nah, this is it. We're going to go to church. I said, no, we're not. Why are we going to church? I'm not going to church. Well, it's not a church service, Dom, but come on, come on. And the next thing, I went into life skills. So I started coming out of my shell after eight weeks in life skills. Life skills giving, is giving you a foundation, that opportunity and the tools and the community also. Mickey was and is my life skill and life coach, um, mentor. She never gave up on me. And um, a friend in life skills that I'd made was talking to Mickey about this other group called Release. And I said, oh, OK. My friend said, you know, come on, come on, you know, come with me. And I said, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if I can do this. I went to Release Group and I met a wonderful couple, um, Colin and Jane. Well, you get the book and, in Release Group, right? And you look at it and you kind of go, OK, this is, this is pretty confronting. Why is there a whole bunch of, God loves you, you are loved, you are forgiven? I'm going, sweet as, really? I guess the great thing about being in a release group or, or a life school group is it's, it gives you a sense of knowing that other people have similar issues. Might not go th through the exact same thing, but knowing that there is someone other who is sitting next to you going, hey, I'm in the same boat as you, can we do it together? Because usually it doesn't happen like that. And usually you feel alone in everything. And when one of us did fall off the wagon, we were like, come on, get back up. It was a sense of belonging, responsibility to each other, friendship, um, respect, loyalty, um, accountability, and a sense of actually someone's got my back. I think one of the most beautiful things that in both groups they're taught is learning how to forgive yourself and learning how to forgive other people. I don't forgive myself. That's the issue. I was angry, I was bitter, I was cold, I was numb. I think opening the door to understanding and learning how to forgive is something that I've been learning. I wouldn't even dared have thought about God again, let alone someone praying over me. My faith now, today, is there. Not sparkling in 100%, you know, it's definitely there though. So I feel content in some ways. You don't just get cured. I mean, I was an addict for 13 years. I still got my dark days, but on the good days, it's, hey, I'm okay. You might not think you've had an impact on my life somehow, some way, but you have. Release, honestly, saved my life. Cap saved my life. Thank you.